Okay, we are back for part two of game one. Tim, gameplay analysis. My cat has been fed. Hopefully she stops meowing. Whoops. All right, let's take a look at that serve there. So you tried to go down the line. I like the idea to mix it up. You've been hitting some backhand serves. Down the line's a fine choice. Don't give it away like you did right there. Let me see if I can zoom in here on your feet. I can. So you can kind of see your foot there pointing that way. I know I have a straight line here somewhere. There you go, you're kind of facing that way. So it's pretty obvious you're going to serve that way. If you're gonna mix in some serves to the right side, try to keep your feet consistently stepping straight. Um, I'm trying to draw a parallel line to this over here. So you're stepping straight toward the front wall on all your serves. You can mix in a Z, cross court, down the line, and everything in between. Um, and you're gonna fool your opponent because your feet aren't giving away your serve. So in this particular serve, they're definitely giving away your serve. Um, after you miss a serve this badly, because you're trying to go down the line and clearly the ball was too far back in your zone and you swung way up on it and it came up high for a setup. So after you do that, you have to just assess what happened. Okay, so I dropped the ball too far back which made the ball go too far to the right. So I need to drop the ball farther forward in my stance so the ball goes straight down the line. Remember we talked about this, Tim. It's all about um, making the adjustments. The best players make mistakes, but they make adjustments. They do it with positive affirmations. So the next time you're in the service box and you want to go serve down the line, you just say to yourself, okay, I'm going to drop the ball farther forward this time, and I'm going to rip that serve right down the line nice and low. So it's going to be low on the front wall and just jettison back here to that right corner. This is a setup for Ty, kind of in his way. It's avoidable hinder in a tournament, but that's okay. Kind of jammed him. Looks like uh, he, he, he decided to play the return anyway, see what kind of return you get. And you're too far forward, so this ball got on you quickly. See where you are? You're in front of the dotted line there. Um, get back behind the dotted line as much as possible, and you'll eliminate that problem. This ball was on you quickly, so you saved it off the back. Pretty nice job there saving it. And you got a little bit lucky as the ball came down really tight to that right wall there. So let's see how you make the adjustments now with that drive serve. I, I like mixing in some drive serves down the line. Especially against Ty, he's got a good backhand, so why not hit some down the line? There you go, perfect adjustment. Really nice, wow. Okay, good segue there. So you knew you made your mistake in the last rally. You hit the ball too high and too far back. Okay, so you still got the problem with that right foot. See how it steps, sorry, with your left foot, it steps toward the right wall. We want to make sure that we keep that foot going straight and don't give away our serves. Okay, uh, drop it lower, please, much lower. Contact point should be down here. Um, but you fix the contact point in terms of how far forward it was in your stance, and you hit a much better drive serve down the line. And you got the side wall cracked there too, which helps. It's always nice. I always complain when my opponent hits a crack, and I'm happy when I hit one. I'm kidding, of course. Whoops. Okay, so a good mixture on, this, on the drive serve. You've been hitting some down the lines. You hit two in a row. So you go back to the um, backhand drive. Let's see the contact point. So the mechanics actually look better than, than they did. I know we worked on this for, uh, for well, at least an hour, um, your drive serve when you were here last time. And I think you have a full understanding of it now. I'm looking forward to our next, your next visit so that we can um, you know, see the improvement. But look, you're swinging nice and flat, swinging low. I like it. Just let the ball drop slightly. Look, you're leading with your elbow. Elbow coming first, hip rotating, hip rotation, perfect. And you're pretty much at full extension there too. Ball's at full extension where you're gonna get maximum power. Um, you're not quite watching the ball. Your head's kind of looking forward. And as you can see on some of these shots, you're actually hitting the corner of the racket. It's not quite the sweet spot. But that's going to improve with time the more you practice this. Um, and these serves are going to be much lower with time too. The angle is good on this, but it's just too high. So it came off the back. Ty's about to swing. And look at your feet. And look at your eyes <laughs> facing that way. Anything Ty hits to the right side of the court you're going to be susceptible to. So if he pinches or hits a cross court, you're in big trouble. So you wanna get back here. And you wanna be facing forward with your feet 
with your head slightly turned back so you can see what's going on in the back left corner. Let's see what shot he takes. So his shot was just way too high, gave you a setup, and look what shot you should take here. Right down the line, right Tim? Right down the line. Nope, cross court. <laughs> and you got yourself in trouble. That's an interesting pose right there. How do you do that? It's pretty cool. All right, so you're getting your setups. That's the cool thing about this video is you're getting your setups, Tim. You just gotta take the right shot. Slow the game down, take the right shot, make your opponent move the farthest distance and your game will get better and better. And get your racket up. You've heard me say that a few times. Ty is hitting a standard wallpaper serve to the right. Your racket should be up. Last second it comes up, it's too late. The right shot here, I don't mind mixing in some overheads from this position, as long as they're you know cross court. Come back to this corner here. Mix in a few down the lines, but hit them about 80% uh, power. If you hit them as hard as you can, they come off the back. Um, because, just because of the angle of the shot, you're gonna ha have to hit those about 85%. And I like to keep most of those to the backhand side. So a good overhead here. That's actually perfect. You got Ty deep in the court. Even if he takes the shot, you're in perfect position. He's in a weak position. There's not many effective shots he can hit from this spot right here. And you hit it perfectly, so he couldn't do anything about it, actually. You do have a good overhead. I, I think we talked about that. I would recommend keep hitting those overheads. Ooh, we got the ace there. Nice. Good mixture. Keep it off the back. Great shot by Ty. So he's about to serve, you're down and ready, knees are flexed, everything looks great there, Tim. Let's take a look, yep, feet are facing forward, you're in the backhand grip with your racket. Anyone watching this video who holds their racket in the forehand grip, returning serve, that's a big mistake, you should be in the backhand grip, because most of these serves come over to your backhand, and it's also very easy to switch from backhand to forehand if they do serve to your uh, forehand. So excellent work there. I don't recommend the hand on the hip, I do it sometimes, um, but when they make contact, I take my hand off my hip. So let's see what happens here when time makes contact. Okay, so I would just recommend getting your um, self in, I don't know, yeah. maybe, I'm, maybe I'm being nitpicky. I don't like to keep my hand on my hip. Though. I feel like it slows me down a little bit. Everyone's different though, who knows. So excellent contact point by Ty. Look how low he is here, contacting that ball. Full extension as well. Let's see what he hits. Drive serve to the forehand. I think it was a bit long. So second serve lob, rack it up, not bad. Ceiling ball is the right choice. Nice work getting back to center. Ceiling ball is the right choice, but if you're gonna hit a ceiling ball, try to keep them to your opponent's backhand, especially on this court because of that mirror glass over here. Just pound the backhand side, you know, make them work, make them have to dig the ball out of that mirror. All right, we'll pause it right here and we'll head to video three for game one.